No, Mike. They were here, in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. We got a parlay with Carlos. This gives us heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. We'll find out what the hell's going on and then... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos. Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold. Lost Lake out. Camp, come back. Deke, I hear you. Mike, good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run in with the Rippers. They. Rippers? God damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge. Deke, I told you. Just listen. No, Mike, they were here in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Am I sure? Oh, Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. Now, we got a parlay with Carlos. Schizo's heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. He'll find out what the hell's going on, and then we'll... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos, Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold. Lost Lake out. Now, whatever you say, Mike, whatever you say, Schizo's right. You're gonna get everyone killed. Yeah. Deke, thanks for stopping by. What's going on? Remember Larson? The guy who spotted that cow in Marion Forks? The one I told you about? Yeah, I remember. Well, he went back out there to see what else he could find. He hasn't come back. We think he's been taken by a group of drifters who've been moving through the Belknap wilderness. Shit, where was he last seen? A building on the east side of town, the old Wagon Hotel. Yeah, I know the one. Thanks, Deke. I appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, Zanny? <laughs> See you around. Hold on, I'll get busy with that. Deacon St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. I heard you tracked down Hart. I was hoping you'd bring him in for trial. Well, sorry, Mike. He, uh, let, let's say the Swarmers had other ideas about that. Oh, shit. Deke didn't tell me that. Hart wasn't the kind of man. I guess not, uh, but then I guess Dan Lane didn't deserve to get shot in the back either. Decided. Well, it's like you said, I've uh, mourned her long enough. Tucker, I'm at the old wagon hotel and I'm heading in. Do you see Larson? Is he there? I don't know, but if he is, I'm gonna find him. St. John out. Later, burn out these nuts.
What do we got? I saw someone. How are you holding up? St. John, you know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut you loose, you get the hell out of here. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice. I don't know where the hell you came from, but Jesus, man. Go, run. You... you've each prepared your own vow? Well, uh, traditionally, the... the groom goes first. 
I'll, I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. I love you. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> Get a room! <laughs> Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Wish I'd been there. Might have helped you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Peeking out. Talk you there. Found Larson. He should be on his way back to the hot springs. Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a look. <laughs> uh, you were saying something? Nice job. I'll have the Alki keep a lookout for him. More rippers have been spotted moving north into Belknap. We need all the men we can get. Tug her out. Thank <laughs> you.
Ah, fresh meat. This is it. Gotta take a closer look. Okay, I'm alive, I'm alive, good, good, good. Oh, I gotta get my gear, and I can't let him see me. How's it going? That did it. <sighs> Addy, you there? Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Deacon, I'm here. Patty, good, good luck. Um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'm, I'll tell you when I get there. Deacon out. Mine now. Need ammo. Deke, this is Cope. You out there? Copeland, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, guessing you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon up. Deke, this is Tucker. You out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by. Deacon out. Time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Hey, uh, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. What does Nero want? They disappear for two years, come back guns blazing? Don't bother trying to find out. You'll get yourself killed. Besides, we already know. I've been watching them skulk around. Thinking they know these woods better than me. They're doing something with the freaks. Tracking them. Studying them. Watching them. Making notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? They're gathering info. Seeing how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die. Or starve off. 
probably tried to get a read on when the feds can re-emerge from their hidey holes and crawl back into their unjust positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. Longer they're here, longer the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. The world may not be ours anymore, but thanks to the freaks, it doesn't belong to the feds either. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <gasps> Once again, Cope, you don't know shit. Freaks ain't on anyone's side. And the world, yeah, already belongs to them. Someone's approaching the gate. Open up. Don't got all day. It's okay. Opening the gate. Got what you need? Yep, everything I could think of. Let's go. Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here. Shit. Swarmers. I was hoping it was going to be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? Okay, I think that's all of them. Crap. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! <gasps> if you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks! I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> I got him! Dick! I'm trying! Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, god damn it. <sighs> well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. Okay, how the hell did- It's not hard to put two and two together, Dee. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Wow, word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay, ready when you are. All right, let's listen up. Okay, now the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, health. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters ride into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. Yeah. We yeah. need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. But she can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is gonna happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Hey, 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 you two. I got a, I got a, I got a bottle of bourbon. Oh, that's your cue. Uh, good Ooh, night. Oh, hey. What happened? That's uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Addy. Damn.